Um, welcome to the National Enterprise Development Initiative. Um, Honorable Minister of Transport, Bakari Waibaji. Deputy Permanent Secretary, Minister of Youth and Sport, Mr. C.D. Laminba. Chairperson, NEDIS Board of Directors, Mr. Sanaba. And the Executive Director of NYSS, Mr. Abbasba. Beneficiaries, NEDIS staff and media. Um, thank you for honoring our invitation. Before we move any further, as custom uh, demands, um, can we please kindly pray in our own individual ways to this special occasion where we celebrate the awarding of grants to 29 exceptional youth and women entrepreneurs from across the country. Today, we recognize and support the innovation spirit and dedication of these individuals who are engaged in various business, business sectors and are driving our economy forward. First and foremost, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to our line ministry, Ministry of Youth and Sport, for their unwavering support and collaboration. Without their partnership, this initiative um, would not have been possible. I would also extend uh, our heartfelt gratitude to the board, through the board chairperson, for making this possible. And also to all the staff of NEDI for their tireless efforts and dedication in bringing this program to fruition today. To all of you, our esteemed grant recipients, congratulations. Today you are receiving not just cash and some material support, but also the recognition and support from your community. This grant is a testament to your hard work, creativity, and determination. I encourage all of you to use these resources wisely and to stay committed to your vision. Your success is not just about the financial support or the material support that you receive today, but about your resilience, innovation, and perseverance to the face of challenges. In closing, I wish each and every one of you the best of luck. May your businesses flourish and serve as a beacon of inspiration for many young entrepreneurs and women around this country. Thank you for being here and let us all continue to work together. Nedis door will continuously be open for all of you, apart from the cash or material support. We are always open to give you business advisory service and many more. We have the training program. We also have the mentorship and coaching program on the NEDI. You can always have that free of charge. So thank you for being with, with us here today. Um, to move further, I would invite our chairperson, Mr. Sanaba, to give a short remark. Honorable Minister, Deputy Permanent Secretary, DG NYSS um, Abbasba, um, recipients today, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. It is a pleasure to be here this morning to present to you the grant award recipient. NEDI is a government initiative that aims to empower Gambian youths and women. Our line ministry has provided over $1.4 million as support to young entrepreneurs between the age of 18 and 35. Ladies and gentlemen, the government believes that youth empowerment through their active participation in economic activities will harness the ingenuity and creativity of these youths and will help government in building a modern and knowledge-based society. Investing in the future generation of our country is a smart investment by the government, as it is only forward looking, but provides an opportunity for young, for our youth to actively participate in growth of our economy. Through such programs and initiatives, we are putting our faith in our youth. We are giving recognition to their skills and abilities 
And we are saying, you are the ones who will lead the nation to a stronger, prosperous future. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Bakari Baji, has been undertaking strategies to support across the board youths to start their own businesses and skills training. Nedi alone has trained a lot of a thousand young people into entrepreneurships and supported over hundreds of youths thus far. Many of these youths are either returnees or are budding young entrepreneurs. These youths have learned the basic business fundamentals and development of marketing and business plans. The training is to enable the youth entrepreneurs to have better understanding of business planning and to access finance. Today, we will be handing over grant to 29 recipients of the scheme, namely the NEDI grant. These recipients have satisfactorily met the requirements for funding, such as having innovative and unique business ideas which are commercially viable and will be sustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I wish to thank His Excellency the President Adam Abaro through the Honorable Minister Bakari Wai Baji for his unflinching support to young people. To conclude, I wish to congratulate the grant recipients for successfully meeting all the requirements under the scheme and wish them very best in their endeavors. Thank you very much. Uh, first, let me extend my greetings to the to the Deputy Permanent Secretary. Actually, he's a new Deputy Permanent Secretary. This is his first official engagement, and we he just uh, took over office yesterday, and uh, we just want to welcome him formally to the ministry and also to this activity. Um, he's not new in government, but new in the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Uh, the chairman, Mr. Ba, is the chairman of the NEDI Board of uh, Directors and the general manager of uh, NEDI, Madam Lisa Kamara. I'm sure he's one person that some of you might have already met or interacted with in, the, in your other trainings or during the process of all this application. And we also have the former general manager of NEDI who is now the executive director of the National Youth Service Scheme, Mr. Abbas Ba. Uh, he's been in NEDI for a while before moving to NYSS. And again, maybe some of you know him with in business. But to all of you that are present here, coming from other parts of the country, from all over, wherever you might be coming from, and to the media, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, we are delighted to gather here this afternoon to do the third, or maybe the, yeah, the, the fourth presentation of the NEDI grant. The first being in 2021, and we had a similar one in 2022 and 2023. And today, we have the fourth badge, which is going to be the 2024 badge. And all of these, as you heard from the previous speakers, is an idea that was controlled by NEDI together with the ministry, but generally is a government project that aims to support young people who are in business, who under normal circumstances might find it challenging to have a loan or a grant to either start a business or to scale up their existing business. The government, thought it wise to initiate a youth entrepreneurship grant and loan scheme, which would support some of the young people who have a startup with little money to scale up, or some young people who have ideas but might not have the funding to start their activity or their business with some little token that they can utilize to be able to start up their activity or their business with the intention that if you do well, you would then be able to qualify for the loan. So if you are here today, just take note that uh, there were others who were here before you who have done so well in the last two or three years since they were granted uh, this little money to do business. And yes, 50,000 is not a lot of money, 
but it is something reasonable for anybody to start. And I want you people to reflect on others who started with a $10,000 business, or they started with a $20,000 or $30,000, and today they're doing well in the business that they're running. It takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a lot of determination, but it takes a lot of discipline to be able to utilize money and manage it in such a way that you can be able to scale up your business in three months or years. But one thing you can be a sort of is the government's willingness to continue to support you, even as you receive this grant today. Because NEDI have a mentorship program that they can partner you with someone else who has passed through this stage that you are today and has done well. And hopefully that person can be able to help in terms of assisting you with the ideas and guiding you through your journey of doing your business. But you can also be assured that NEDI will continue to monitor to see what you're doing and where they think that you are struggling, there could be other assistance that could be given to you, either through NEDI itself or through some of our partners that have similar supporting programs. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this, that in 20, even we launched this project in January of 2021, it was the president's, President Adam Abaro himself who launched it at the Arch. And the idea then is that these young people and women who are doing business and maybe go to the bank and get very difficult conditions through collaterals and others that they cannot fulfill, or these young people who have an idea to run either a plumbing shop or a carpentry workshop or a tailoring, or a hairdressing salon, or go into businesses, what can we do to be able to support them and bring them up to become formal business? And we task you, as you move out of here today, if you're already into business, please continue on it, because we all know the reality. Today, you go out there in the business sector, you go to the market, a lot of the people that you see are non gambians and that is a fact, that's all we know. So we as a government, as a Ministry of Union Sports, our responsibility is how can we encourage and support more Gambians to be able to go into that informal sector so that our dependency on foreign people, on foreign nationals to control our informal sector can reduce. So that maybe in the next three years, in the next five years, we will have more Gambian tailors, we'll have more Gambian plumbers and more Gambian mechanics but we'll have more Gambians selling in our corner shops than foreign people. And it doesn't by any mean, means that we are discouraging foreign people from working in the country. Yes, we welcome them. But we want our Gambian young people to dominate this sector so that whatever is being generated remains in the Gambia. That is the only way that we can be able to develop our economy. Because as you do business, you pay tax. And then that tax also comes back to take care of certain services. But if you do business and your profit goes up, then that's a problem. So we want our tax to remain in country. We want our profit to remain and revolve in the country so that it can even be used to support other people. So I want to congratulate the 29 of you that have been selected from among the many young people that apply and, and encourage you to take advantage of it and continue to do well so that we will see reason why we need to request the president to give us more. Because today we are presenting 1,450,000 distributed among all 29 of you. But who knows, maybe next year we might be able to double up or double the amount and get a 3 million. It depends on what we're able to report. When we report that we've given 29 and all of those 29 are doing well in their business, then we have a reason to add the numbers. But if we say 29 and they said, oh, there is only 10 of them that are doing well, then it means we have not done well. And we cannot be able to justify that anywhere at the Ministry of Finance or anywhere. Or your board chairman or your general manager cannot come to us to say, give us more money because the results are not going to be good. So we hope that you would be the ambassadors to join the previous ones and to continue to do well. On that note, I would want to... to to, to once again congratulate and thank all of you. And hopefully, we will come to see you in your businesses. If you follow TV or the social media, you saw us yes, last year 
going around places to visit some of these young farmers that we supported in 2022, or some others who are doing all different kind of things, bakery, hairdressing, and we were happy to see what they were doing. So we want to be, be able to visit you in 2025 or late 2024 and see what you're doing and be able to showcase them as success stories. So on that note, I want to end here and thank you again, once again. And I'll just want to shoot a little bit into Wolof Limaron Waharek for others, maybe. Moi ne rek nyungle ndi gire mbo bahi nyep mifi te ute. Paski li jota ebo amsolo la. Chine amna fi ay ndao yo hamne. Nyung chi business. Wa hejna amne njafe jafe pur muna yo kasen business. Wala amne njela ti def business. Wa amne njafe jafe pur am halis bun dao binga hamne. Mumla njuna dore sen business. Lolo mota neri tahawal program bi ak ministry of iran sports pur gisne ndaw yi nga xamne ni ñu ngi def business wa hejna mënu ñoo dem ci banque pour lepp xaaliss wala kenen mënu ñoo dem ci son oncle wala sen papa wala kenen pour mu jox len xaaliss bu ndaw bi ñoo doore ñu am lu ndaw luñ leen di jox su ko defé ngeen mën ko use té nekkul lo leen di fay lu moy luñ leen di jox la ngeen jël ko duggal ko ci sen business bi ndax mëna yoko business wala ko xamne ni tam hejna am nga satagula business wa am nga xelaat gi té train nga jaar nga ci training bi ñu wara def yépp né di jappay la su ko defé nga mëna taxawal sa business nga mëna dimbal sa bop wal ci gëna am solo moy né so gisé ngur gi di jël xaaliss bu takku ni tu ko duggal ci yeen parce que dañ am yaakar né bo leen fi génné di ngeen jël xaaliss bi def ko comme ni ko amone niñ def parce que bi nekku jël ben yoon ñu ko def def nañ ko ci ñeneen ñetti at yi passé bi moy ñeneen télé yoon ñu ngi joxé 50000 yi ni té ñu ci gëna bari ñu ko jox tay bo démé di leen wor di ngeen fekk ñu ngi am seen salon ni bo pa ñu ko doxal ñeneen ño xamné ñu ngi am place bi ño ñew amna ño xamné ni ñu ngi ci walum mbey mi amna xamné ñu ngi ci yeneen carpentry plumbing painting yoy yeb hejna buñu amutone dimbal bu duñ mëna taxawal business gi wala diñ ko mëna yoxo comme niñ ko yakke so buga nañ euh at bi bara mo jeex wala next year bi ñoo wor ñu ñoo ci seen place yeneen tamit ñoo xol li ngeen di def amna ci ño xamné ni ñu ngi def poultry so yoy yeb li tax ngur gi def ko moy parce que gis nañ ni sectors yoy ñi ci gëna bari nekkuñ wa doomi rew té mu nekk lo xamné ni gënut parce que tay ku fay liggéey nga joggé ci biti lo am ci biti nga ko yob waye bo nekké gambien lepp lo liggéey fi muy sa profit da nga ko déla wa ci rew mi déla ko ci économie rew mi lolu moy tax rew jëm kanam comme nuko président dé waxé li nekk ci biir gambie gambie fi rek la am we arin bo démé lu gëna bari ci informal sector bi ñu nekkul gambie ñoko am yeneen dëkkay bo démé seen doomi rew yi ñu nekk ci yoy so ñun tam bëgg nañ suñ doomi rew ñu amé yoy su ko défé Gambia gëna dem kanam xaaliss bi dess ci rew mi yokuté am tax bi gëna yoku su ko défé ngur gi mëna liggéey liggéey bi nga xamné ni mom la son la kon yeen mi nga xamné yeen lañ tan ci ñi nga xamné ni ño jotona binda pour saaku ñimbal mi ñu ngi lén di gëreem bu baax waye tam di lén gëna ñaax né seen morom bëggon nañ waye amuñ so yeen buñ lén tané ci lu gëna bari yaakar né li ngeen binda ci kay ak li ñu jëta gis ci seen business doyna len motax né di tan len pour jox len kon yaakar nañ né yaakar bo biñ am ci yeen yeen tam di ngeen ko mutandi ko défé ngeen mëna yoko seen business yi bu élégué bu ñëwé bu fekkanté né ñëwon ci sa sop gis né hejna bénn table nga am bu ñëwaté fekk nga am ñaar bu dé da nga def pentine nga amone ay machine yu néw bu gëna légué nga gëna am lu gëna bari bu dé borom salon la wala ñaw kat la ñu né hejna machine ñaw ñaar rek nga amone ci machine bu gëna ñoo fekk ñetta wala ñeneen ci machine ci sa place bu dé tamit ñaari nit nga doon liggéeyal bu gëna ñoo fekk ñetta wala ñeneen parce que bu gëna ñu tamit nga gëna train ñeneen ñi nga xamné am nañ interest ci li ngeen di def kon ñu ngi leen di gërëm euh sante leen bu baax ni ko anglais di waxé congratulations ñu ngi leen di dokalé té di yaakar né lu ndaw li ngeen ci am dina leen jëriñ tay leen jëriñ ci njëbot waye tamit dina jëriñ rew mi parce que di ngeen ci am lu bari ngeen di fay tax yoko ci économie so yëri ngeen jëf ñu émalé fi suñu wax bi be def presentation ci waye na comme ni mëna ko waxé digna leen digna leen sëtt xaw ma kan lay sëtt de waye next six months di ngeen ñu ci seen place so ñi nga yaakane bo leen fi génné di ngeen def li nga xamné ni mo war jëre ngeen def dara ngur bi nekkul di dimbélé waye comme honneur bu ministère num ko waxé this is not the first time 
uh, apart from group package bu ñe kay def ni si yeb yeb request daf day ñew te dañ lay set fuñ muna amé ñu jaafalé len si ad bi wa li lañ register as a group cap package comme last year joxon nañ tati three people mo nekkon group grand uh, ceremony buñ defone waye si bir ad bi liñ joxé opana lolu because si bir ad bi amna ñene ñu dey ñew te fekk amnañ xaaliss tuti pour muñ leena jaafalé sen business ci taxaw lu tam dañ ko dey def so opana li suñu ñe jaafalé te ñun tam dinañ continuer ka di jaafalé way tam fok ngeen ñu ngeen wax ñu li leen soxla dañ soxla pour kena ci office bi pour mu ñu ci staff bi pour ñu jangale ño xamne sen xam xam match na ci ci bori business ñu jaa pour sen business ci jaa faylen ci advisory wala ci yenen area so ñu ngi fi um, thank you very much honorable minister so now we will move to the next uh, agenda item which is presentation of the demi check um xamna ni ñu bari ñu ngi fi check yu bari pare na tay almost 90% xamna ni nañ dem ak sen check yi tay be pare uh, apart from checks we also have material support amna ño xamne dañ fay sen vendor ci um lool so also la buggona wax dañ dé di ci dé gina liñ dé gëna encourage moy material support because legi le mu nga jox nit 50000 bariwul mu dugga ci marché bi dé dina ko yeb jassna especially jigéen yi so uh, liñ dé gëna advice moy so ñu ño xam sa business area té easy na pour ñu am bénn vendor dañ dé fay vendor bi ko supply la bagage yu yeb dañ ko dé def so amna ño xamne tay vendor yi fay nañ len already ñu ngi indi ñu ngi indi sen bagage bagage ñang bi ci suuf tam na am yene ñu ñoo woné amna ño xamné tam euh sen business area comme gay gay jaay jin ak yoyu do muna am invoice fuñ la fay comme boobu dañ am business account fofu la ño fay xaaliss bi so amna ñu bari ño xamné tay dañ am business account ño xamné dinañ dem ak sen check yi tay dinañ ko mëna dugal sen business account ci amna ño xamné tam sen bagage ci paré na suñ paré dinañ dimbi li ñu yobul lañ ko fiñ ko wara yobu so dañ am bénn check dañ buga comme groupe ñoo fi kanam fi taxaw ak Honorable Minister, ñu natalu dem ñu xol bagage ñu mëna wacce suuf tam dem xol because comme ñu ko waxé different areas lañ dey jaafalé amna ko beneficiary bo xamné mom fas la buggone jinda jinal nañ ko fas also process nañ ko so comme minister ñu ko waxé different sectors as long as business area la té dafa indi income ci young person bi wala ci jigen bi dañ dey mëna support so pour ñu mëna conclude ñu close dina okay na pour mu ñu waxalatam Uh, bala ñu close dem ñu mëna am group photo bi ñu mëna close ana aissatu eh uh, good afternoon to the honorable minister of youth and sports needy board chairman deputy permanent secretary general manager needy executive director nyss staff of needy my fellow grantees we are grateful to the above mentioned names for giving us the opportunities of having this special grant this grant will take us a long way in sustaining our business. Finally, our big thanks goes to our president, Mr. Adam Avaro, on behalf of his government to providing the resources to the Minister of Youths and Sports to support youths and women entrepreneurs. Thank you. ko <laughs> <laughs> so abena fala baake abena fala baake am contenta solo ngal tendu jey ba yedi foke tendu ke jey ay la lord la ñu malam ba fule ci continuer ñu ko sifa ke fon ni kele ñu na ñu sifa la mam o ana ñu sifa ay sa ke fon ni kele am contenta contenta ba thank you so much